This is Missionary Evangelist to you with episode three. Expression my father loved to use, leave it to the birds. Well, Jesus had something to say about the birds, about in the Matthew 6, that even uh, 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 the birds of the field, God takes care of it, he clothes them, and he will look even after every one of us. For well, because we are more important than the birds. Yeah, I have with me my wife, Marge Abram. Just say hello to the Marge. Hello and greetings to you in the precious name of Jesus. Uh, one of the, she's going to be doing one of the one or two of the lessons on uh, on Zoom that we have now going into the Russian speaking countries of the world, and uh, we're working with Walter Zigrevich uh, with uh, the the Bible School, and we're able to be here in North America and take care of teaching the other side of the world. Wow, that's amazing. But leave it to the birds. Now, if you heard, heard one of the, or watched one of the Facebook episodes a little earlier, Bo, maybe seven or eight or nine back there, uh, when I told about the parrot in Australia, we're in the middle of nowhere. Marge heard someone in the bush and she got scared because there wasn't supposed to be anyone around while she was hanging the clothes over the, over the bushes. And she says, Tony, there's someone out there. And then I, to my amazement, I was hearing, hello there, hello there. And then finally I saw the white parrot in the, in the, in the tree, and he was talking to us. And well, I never was able to catch him. But uh, we're, we're going to tell you two more uh, experiences that we've had with the birds. And one goes way back in the early 60s. We were ministering in Great Britain. And in a little town, or not too small of a town, a city, I guess, Nuneaton, not far from Birmingham, uh, England, uh, we were having meetings, and they had a budgie bird, uh, and it liked to shout every time you came in, are you saved? Have you been born again? You need Jesus. Hallelujah. And one day as we were coming uh, up the sidewalk into the house, uh, here come the milkman running out, and he's hollering back to uh, the pastor's wife there, even your, even your bird has religion. Be born again. Do I love Jesus? Hallelujah. Well, anyways, it was quite humorous that even her bird was able to give a witness. And I thought, how many believers never do that? Uh, never share their testimony. Mm, shame on you that a bird can do it and you can't. But uh, I know that you do. If you love Jesus, you want to share Jesus with others. But March, <laughs> the most exciting one. Remember back down in Hastings, uh, England? And we, you, we've we never forgot the address uh, of that bird there. What did that bur budgie bird say? He said... My name is Nudgy Hubert. I live on 31A Upperton Road. I'm a boy bird. I'm a Pentecostal bird. And he would repeat this over and over. I never forgot their address because the, do the bird could say the address and tell his name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was kind of comical and amazing. But he did not give the postal code or the zip code, as we call it in the United States and in England, postal code. Well... He, that was still a lot, and we've never forgotten that that place and and uh, the town, but, and we never forgot the birds. So leaving it to the birds, uh, today we want to pray for you. This is a short session, uh, but we want to pray. We want to pray that you will not be discouraged if you're having difficult times. I know for our own ministry, because we're not able to go out, a uh, lot of evangelists, a lot of traveling ministries are finding it difficult at this time. But my God said he would supply all your needs uh, uh, according his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. And uh, as we pray for our own, because when we have needs, we present it to our Heavenly Father. And he has always provided for all these years. 
I know I was only in the ministry a couple years when the Lord said, you don't have to ask people. You don't have to beg. All you have to do is pray and believe. And so many people over the years have said, Brother Tony, uh, pray for us. And uh, I even know some people have given to our ministry to win souls. They said, we want to give to you because you're Jewish heritage. And, and it says, if you bless Jews, you're going to be, you're going to be blessed for doing it. Well, anyways, we never, we never promote that, but we know that the promise of God says, give and it shall be given to you. Isn't that wonderful? And so Marge and I together are going to pray that God will supply your needs. Some of you are going through this, this time of, Oh, well, it's suffering for a lot of people being locked in. I know Marge and I, this is the longest we've been in one place in, uh, I think, 60 years. Uh, we've been always traveling for Jesus, and we'd come home and go, come home and go. Um, whether we come home to Canada or come home to U.S., uh, we always would come home at least for a few days, get things straightened out. But uh, now with this pandemic, and of course, you may see this in the future on YouTube, and maybe, and I trust there will be no pandemic. But the world is going crazy, you know, at this time, and uh, everybody is calling one another racist. I, I guess Marge and I are probably would have to be considered the two most least racist in the world because we have ministered and loved people all over the world in 125 countries. To me, when I look at a person, I don't see the color. I see a person that I can win to Jesus. Praise the Lord. And I believe that's how God looks at all of us. We're all children of God. We have been born into this world to be born again by receiving Jesus as Savior, Lord, and Master. Well, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm feeling that anointing, and I'm liable to start preaching. But if you want to hear my preaching, you have to go to our website and go on to, uh, uh, on to YouTube and hear it. <laughs> Anyways, we love you. Marge, you love the people. We love the people. And because we love God, the love of God is in us. And, do, and do we pray for them on Facebook we all the time? We pray for them every day. Amen. Every day we bring them before the face of uh, and throne Lord of God. God. Yes, we do. Let's pray Amen. now. Father, Father, in, the name, in Jesus, the name of Jesus, there are many people going oh, through hallelujah. hard times right now, Lord. Yes, oh, Lord. Father, and we are yes. claiming the promise. I know yes. my dad used to get sometimes uh, discouraged or disgusted, or and he would say, leave it to the birds. Well, there, there's a message there. You supply the needs for birds. Yes. Are we not more important? So, yes. Lord, for everyone that's going through difficult times yes. right now, Lord. We send the word yes. in the name yes. of yes. Jesus. Yes. Supply every yes. need according to thy riches in glory yes. by Christ Jesus. Yes. Oh, Lord, in we Jesus thank you for it. And Lord, of course, the greatest need anyone yes. could have uh, would be like that Jesus. milkman yes. that ran out of the home there and not eaten uh, and was disgusted because the bird was saying, uh, are you saved? Uh, are you born again? Yes. Uh, and Lord, do you they he said do you know jesus and, and lord uh, let let everyone that has heard the gospel receive it receive in jesus, jesus as their lord and their savior oh lord we thank you and praise yes, you lord. in advance for in supplying name, every need because you're able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that that yes. we could ever ask or believe yes. in the name of jesus, jesus name. amen Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, you know, Marge and I, we, we, we love you, yes. but God loves Bless you more. Amen. And do you believe that? Amen. Do you really believe that? <laughs> Amen. Well, you see, Marge, sometimes I hit that button and it says finish and it doesn't want to finish. Maybe I'm supposed to go longer. Well, we'll keep on touching it and turning it around. Well, you might want to say something more. God bless you as you've heard this. And remember, the Lord loves you. <laughs> Finish. Love you.